Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. We are starting a series of videos about the comparison of adult Aboriginal Central Asian Sheepherds or as they are called in their homeland in Tajikistan, Sagida Khmarda, Sagi Chuponi or Sagi Tochiki and factory Central Asian Sheepherds raised in kennels. For those who have joined our channel for the first time, make sure to watch a series of videos about the comparison of Aboriginal and factory puppies. You can now go to the latest video from this series by clicking on the hint on the card in the upper right corner or by following the links that we will leave in the description. So at the moment you are looking at a huge difference in the appearance of Aboriginal and Kennel cats. Sometimes it feels like they are already completely different breeds. So let's continue to understand why so. One of the main reasons for such a huge difference is also the natural selection that occurs at flocks in the homeland of these dogs in Central Asia and does not occur in factory breeding. In the conditions of factory breeding, the impossibility of natural selection is obvious, but it is necessary to adhere to the natural flow as much as possible during the entire cycle of breeding. And let's start with how breeding animals mainly made at homeland near flocks and in kennels. At home in Central Asia, particularly in Tajikistan, at flocks, the shipper does not interfere in the mating of his dogs and the dogs are left to themselves and mating takes place according to a rigid pack hierarchy, which basically controls all the mechanism of the vital activity of the aboriginal dogs. So the main mature male mates a female in his pack if for some reason the mature male can't mate, for example, he got sick or got into a big fight, then the male who follows by hierarchy will mate female. Also, if a female for some reason cannot mate, then mating with this female does not happen. And so we can observe that only the strongest individuals leave offspring in nature. But what happens in the kennel breeding? In kennel breeding, sometimes everything happens exactly the opposite way. For a long time there has been such a profession as a mating instructor and if it can be considered normal when breeding decorative small dogs but to use it for walking aboriginal breeds such as the central asian sheep herd we consider it as a crime against the breed we believe that if a male is not able to cover a female and hit himself then such a male should not be used in breeding work process as well as a female who for some reason is not able to mate by herself then such a female should not participate in procreation because obviously all this happens against the nature of these dogs however we often see how people interfere in this process and for many this is considered as a norm on this sad note we end the first part of our comparison we thank you for watching this video and please like it if you do and write in the comments whether you agree with our position or not and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the continuation of this conversation